Hey yo, what is up YouTube? Gino here with my second top 10 list of 2017. If you haven't seen yesterday's video, I highly suggest you watch that before you watch this as you will find out my top 10 K-pop songs of the year. This list is songs of all genres. So if you're interested to see where my K-pop songs come in in this list, then watch on now. This is going to be a shorter video, I'm not going to go quite as in-depth into my reasons for the songs in each position as I was in the last video, so but there's a warning. However, this time I have a lot of honourable mentions. It was incredibly hard to put this list down to just 10, so I have loads of honourable mentions. It's been a great year for music, I'm not going to lie. I found it incredibly tough to craft, especially those top five, because all of them are such incredible songs that I have so much uh, emotion for and so much feeling for. They're just truly superb. Like I said, there's just been so much good music this year. I mean, maybe I'm just out of it, but I feel like right now is a fresh golden age. There was like a period of time, sort of like the 2000s, where the music was so bland and dull, just boring pop music. Now we are getting some new, fresh ideas, and it, it's so interesting. I think especially the rise of R&B in di different countries is a really good thing. I'm loving it. So let's start at number 10 with an incredibly surprising song. I didn't expect anything like this from this artist when I was listening to them a couple of years ago. This is 911 or M M Mr. Lonely, it's sort of a 911 slash Mr. Lonely by Tyler the Creator. This is a fresh R&B track from a guy who is known for his gruesome hip hop tracks. I mean, it, it's incredible different from his old music of albums like Goblin and Wolf, and it's absolutely crazy that it's the same guy, but this is an incredibly well-crafted song. It's gorgeous, the lyrics are superb, they're heartfelt, it's, oh wow, I just can't even describe how I feel about this song, it's superb. At number nine, it's We Find Love by Daniel Caesar. I was only introduced to this song and Daniel Caesar about three months ago now by a flatmate of mine at university. And I fell in love with the Freudian album, but particularly We Find Love, I think it's a superb song. The songwriting is incredible, uh, the vocals are amazing, and the, the stru song structure is incredibly appealing. There was loads of songs on that album that could have filled in here, especially Best Part, I think, uh, would, would be my next favourite, but We Find Love just was incredible. Then at number eight, It's Sweet by Brockhampton. This may be surprising for people who don't know who Brockhampton are because they are still not that well known. I only found out about them at the beginning of this year but they have since dropped three studio albums, all of which were incredible and I think people are missing out if they haven't tried them out. They're sort of the all-American boy band but they got incredible rappers mixed in there and I, I, I can't even describe them you have to listen to them to experience them they've loads of music videos out they're very low-key it's incredible sweet itself is my favorite song by them mainly because of that joba verse it's oh wow geez he, he goes ham on it but the the hook is also superb that's done by kevin abstract and everybody has like a good verse on that it, it's, it's a great song at number seven, it's Never by J.I.D. Again, a new rapper who I didn't really know. I believe he's under Dreamville, which is uh, J. Cole's label. Th this is a great song. The beat switch up sort of halfway through just gives it so much energy. The bars J.I.D. spits are great. I love his delivery. He almost has sort of a Kendrick Lamar sound. He's slightly nasally, and I love the feel of the song. I, I, I think the production on this is just superb. The whole project, The Never Story, is also really good, so I suggest you check it out. Coming in at number six, it's Joey Badass with Rockabye Baby featuring Schoolboy Q. This is a pure hip-hop track. The instrumental is bouncy, energetic, and heavy. I think the, the bars they spit over are some of the best of the year. Joey Badass and Schoolboy Q work together incredibly well. They've got very complimentary voices. They're both gritty, uh, lyrical rappers, and they're both fairly conscious as well. Uh, sometimes I think uh, Schoolboy Q can, can be out there, but I think overall he, he is just, he's one of the new age rappers that just works so well on tracks like this, and this feature was superb. Coming in at number five, it's my first K-pop song on the list, and that is Palette by IU and GD. I spoke about it a lot in the last video, but once again, it's, it's a superb song, my lord. Just edging out of the podium places at number four. It's Drew Barrymore by SZA. This was my favorite song of her album, Control. Honestly, there, there were so many songs on that album that I just loved. 
but Drew Barrymore, that the instrumental is amazing. Her vocals are so soft and, and very sweet. The melody of the song is very glossy and it flows beautifully. And once again, the song structure and the lyrics are incredibly heartfelt and warming. And now, the top three. This, this, oh, it, it was incredibly tough. It was all very close. Really, any three of these could be interchangeable, but uh, at number three, I decided to go for Kendrick Lamar with Humble. Honestly, pretty much any song off Damn could be on this list, but I decided to go with Humble because that's probably the one I've listened to the most overall. Also, it was the most mainstream, interestingly enough. Kendrick Lamar, he has this way of working his music to be both mainstream conscious and I don't understand how he does that so effortlessly even songs like um, Loyalty and Pride and DNA all of them have mainstream feel but all of them have these really conscious lyrics the way he interweaves lyrics about police brutality and then comes up with like a joke in the next line is so interesting I, I feel like he's one of the only rappers today who can do that you know maybe like Eminem back in the day would do something like that but Kendrick is the only one right now who, who I feel is doing that maybe I'm missing out on some artists but there we go humble itself has an incredible instrumental it's punchy it's light Kendrick's flow on it is so different it is definitely a trap feeling song and I think part of this was given the song was titled humble and he's telling people in the track to, you know to be humble he's talking to other rappers who all go for these trap type flows and he, he's basically saying yeah I don't usually do this but sit down I can do it better than you and honestly yeah humble is probably the best hip-hop track of the year so there humble at number three bronze position at number two I decided to put GD's Untitled 2014 here, that beautiful ballad piece that I was just going on and on about in the last video, it, it truly is a superb song and it's well deserving of the silver position. If you want to hear me talk more about it, I, I mean, I did a review of the album. I, I think I did a track review of this. I did a, a, a reaction to the music video when it first came out. I, I have a lot of stuff about this song because I love it so much. I mean, even just in the last video, I spent like two minutes talking about it. Okay, that was 10 to two. Let's talk about some honourable mentions now. I'm just going to read them off. No, no editing. Wind by FT Island, of course, had to make it onto my honourable mentions as well as EXO's Forever. Uh, I also want to shout out the YouTuber Dodi, who released a great EP this year, but 6 out of 10 was my favourite song off that. Really beautiful. Her voice is just so sweet. It, oh, I don't even know how to describe the voice, it's amazing. Uh, then I wanted also to mention Big Fish by Vince Staples. That whole album was superb. Made in China by the High Brothers. <laughs> Just, oh wow, they, they exploded onto the scene. The whole 88 Rising crew exploded onto the scene this year. I was really impressed with the, the releases they had. Uh, again, another 88 Rising. Will He by Joji, of course. Filthy Frank released a superb EP. Will He was my favourite song of that. The surprise package of the year, Jaden Smith. What? Yeah, Falcon was my favourite song of his project, Siren. I just wanted to shout that out. Oh, it's, it's a great song, actually. Uh, no Words by Dave, British rapper. He's not really a grime artist. He's more of a rapper, musician. He, he, he's superb, but No Words my favourite song by him. Loving is Easy by Rex Orange County. Again, he's had a great year. Young, Dumb and Broke by Khaled exploded onto the scene and Young, Dumb and Broke was a great song. Location can also be mentioned, that's great. 18, American Teen, all of them are great. Uh, no Dope on Sundays by Sci High the Prince. Glad he finally dropped something. That was my favorite song off the album. Rockstar by Post Malone and 21 Savage. Just a banger, an absolute banger. I, I've listened to that a lot and it's, it's often on in the clubs and stuff as well. Rockstar, it, it's, it's, a, it's a great song. And then finally, Ghostface Killers by 21 Savage, Offset, and Metro Boomin. So you must all be wondering what's at number one. I can't actually imagine many of you know this, but I, I decided what was going to be my number one quite a while ago. Ever since I listened to this album, uh, the, the number one song, it, it, for me it was so obvious. It's 444 by Jay-Z. This song off the 444 album is it's just incredible. It's sort of this hip-hop um, vocal blend. The, the the singing on it in, in is interwoven into the instrumental it's incredible what what jay-z is basically doing it's an apology song to his wife but it's also very introspective it's very honest it's detailed the flows on it are great the the, the lyrics are superb and can i just say the instrumental is probably my favorite of the year next to that jid never track 
it, the, the instrumental is incredible. It's so original. It's so effervescent. Is that even the right word? I know. I just like that word, and it feels like it works there. I really, really like this track, and the fact that Jay Z has dropped another incredible project just goes to show that he is—he is one of the greatest of all time. I, I think people that argue he isn't, it comes from a position of like, yeah, he's a businessman. And he's not really a hip-hop artist anymore, but he just dropped another incredible album. I wouldn't be surprised if in five years people are saying it's a classic, because it, it really is great. So yeah, that's my top 10 list of 2017. I hope you enjoyed. If you agreed, let me know. If you didn't agree, leave yours in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. This is Gino, signing out. See you guys soon.